this year, one in every 100,000 people will die from cancer. And this year, one in every 10,000 people will die from AIDS. But there's another epidemic that destroys the lives of innocent people every year, while far less publicized by the media. Its effects are no less potent. It can strike anywhere, at any time, to anyone. It is not a disease or a sickness, but a phenomenon. This year, one in every 300 million people will die of spontaneous combustion. Incidents of spontaneous combustion have been reported from all over the globe. Last year, one couple moved from their homeland in France to sunny Australia with daughter Gigi. Shortly after their arrival, daughter Gigi met her untimely demise at the hands of the spontaneous combustion. Our daughter, she was so gifted. She made the top of her class even though she held a job at the bingo derby after school. Our daughter, she was going to be valedictorian. She was so beautiful. And look at her now. She's a pile of goddamn mush. Although there haven't been any reported cases of spontaneous combustion in the United States for eight years, Americans are just as susceptible to this tragic event as any other nation. To prove that point, this Arkansas native volunteered to be injected with a serum which will bring about spontaneous combustion in his body. We thank you, sir, for your willingness to devote your life to the betterment of our country. All of America salutes you. While there is no known cure for the epidemic, there is a way to protect yourself through education and awareness. This is not something that happens to other people. Spontaneous combustion has no ethnic, racial, or religious preferences. To it, we are all just flesh. So watch out, America, because no one is safe. If you turn your back on this epidemic, we all could be next.